Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to another episode about AWPS, the Alicad WordPress starter theme for developers. Welcome again. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look on how to quickly generate sub pages for our custom admin area. Um, if you don't know what I'm doing here, I'm talking about the custom classes and wrappers that are created to easily and quickly tap the settings API of WordPress. And I strongly suggest you to check the previous video, the video number one about the settings API. So at this point, we generated our admin pages and we quickly generated two different admin pages with two different methods, one by uh, calling a custom template that we generated inside our views and one just simply echoing uh, an H1 inside our custom section. What I want to do in this tutorial, I want to create a couple of custom sub section like admin sub pages inside the store main area. So Let's take a look on how to do it. First, as usual, inside our construct for the admin class that extends the settings API, we're going to call another custom method that we want to create. And of course, also in this case, you can call it however you want. In my case, because I'm creating admin set pages, I'm going to call it admin underscore sub pages, but you can pick the name that you want. Absolutely. Let's create also in this case, a private function call of course admin sub pages and we don't need to pass any variable in here um, as a generic rule if you want you should definitely write some documentation or some comments for these methods especially if you're writing many many methods that could be hard to remember what they do what they don't do so just write whatever these admin pages does and uh, write what it's returning for now is not returning anything but anyway that's just a recommendation if the code is just for you and you don't want to write any comment you can totally do it but probably you're gonna hate yourself in a couple of months but let's keep going so as usual just to follow the same exact logic that we did before, we want to create an arguments variable that contains a multidimensional array to store all the settings for all our custom sub pages and then call just one single method to generate all the sub menu pages at once. So let's create a new variable called args and this new variable it's an actual array and inside here we're gonna call or generate another array and then we can have it looks like I really don't know how to write array, but <laughs> anyway, let's put it down this way. And uh, one of the shenanigans of the settings API that I wasn't able to override or overcome is that when you create a sub page of um, an admin page, you basically need to call the same admin page. So in my case, I have this store page here that it's calling a custom template inside my views. Uh, if I wanna create a sub pages called settings that it's actually the first page of my store admin page, it basically I'm gonna have to call exactly the same thing. So that's kind of annoying, that, but that's how um, the settings API work. So, in order to speed up the thing, just copy all these things, like copy the page title, menu title, capability, menu slack, and callback, copy it here, and put it, paste it as an array. Uh, the only difference for this array is that as a first parameter, we need to specify the parent slug, that is the slug that um, we define when we generated the admin page. And we need to put the slug that we want to use to associate in which location this sub page should be. So in my case, this store admin page has a menu slug of store. So my parent slug will be store. That's kind of weird. That's kind of where it gets a, a bit confusing here. My PHP CS fixer is throwing errors because I forgot the comma. This is where it 
gets kind of weird because we are referring a parent slug of store but the menu slug is store we're doing this on purpose and it's good it, we have to do it. it's not an error because the um, settings api in order to have the first sub page identical to the main admin page needs to carry the same slug so in this case we can have the same exact things and that's no problem Okay, now we have an array with our first sub settings or sub menu page. Now it's time to call the method to generate this sub admin page. So also in this case, let's call the settings parent class and let's tap the method add admin sub pages. And also in this case, we need to just pass the arguments array that we previously generated. Do you see the logic here? We have the settings add admin pages if we want to create admin sub pages the method is add admin sub pages pretty straightforward if we go back in our administration area and we refresh of course nothing is gonna happen because we yes we generated the sub menu page called settings or actually let's change it to just see uh to not have the exact same name in the menu title let's call just settings and here the page title let's just, just leave it like that but as i said if we refresh nothing changes because we don't have enough sub pages to show sub pages so if we just have one sub page wordpress by default will not show it and it's gonna go always on the first main page so it's time to generate another sub page and as i showed you in the previous video to generate another one let's just simply duplicate the multi-dimensional array and just put another uh, series of attributes to generate another type of sub page in this case for example the parent slug is always the same the store i want to generate a page title uh, called like store faq and the menu title is going to be faq and the capability is still the manage options and the store uh, then the menu slug is going to be store underscore faq and the callback function in this case i want to just echo some um, really simple html so i can just echo div class wrap that is the default uh, class uh, default container of wordpress inside the admin area and i'm printing the h1 called faq page this is just an example so i generated I duplicated i insert another array another attribute in the multi-dimensional array i don't have to do anything else i just save i go back in my admin area refresh and now magically we have this sub menu item so we have the store that the first page is settings and of course if we click on store the first page that wordpress is going to access is settings because we specify the same exact slug and that's how wordpress matches the first page with the actual main page of the admin section and then we have the faq page that is just printing an echo and that's pretty easy so if we want to create for example another subsection for the store another sub page for the store and at the same time a new couple of sub pages for the awps section how can we do it just simply by populating this multi-dimensional array without writing again any other function without writing again any other method or duplicating method we can just simply keep adding sub pages with the same exact method by following the same exact logic so let's duplicate this again and let's generate always for still for the parent slug store let's call a store wiki <laughs> i don't know uh, let's call this wiki and these menus like is wiki and here the title is wiki page whatever and then at the same time let's create um for the parent slug that in this case is going to be awps in this case is going to be awps and here it's weekly awps page i'm writing something totally random and then let's generate as wordpress requires the first page has to have exactly the same slug of this section and exactly the same 
printing. So we can just copy as I did before the page title from page title to callback and paste it here as a first or part of the array. And the parents log is identical to the menus log. So we have this multi-dimensional array now that we're generating with just one single call, one, two, three, four, five subpages. Three of these subpages belong to the store, two of these subpages belong to AWPS, and the function is just one. Let's see if, if it works or we broke something. Let's refresh. Nothing seems to have <laughs> exploded. So if we access the FAQ, FAQ page, wiki, wiki page, if we go to AWPS, oh, look at that. There's a sub menu, AWS admin page. Oh, there's something wrong here. We're including the wiki twice. Let's take a look at why we're doing that. We're doing that because simply in the callback, we're actually echoing something. We're echoing a string. We're not requiring once. This once is really important because we are including requiring that template just once. Um, but for the instead for the AWS main page, we are echoing this twice. So at this point, we could just simply echo empty if we want for the main admin section. So we won't have a repetition of the title. But of, of course, in this case, also, if you need to write something more complex, if you need to write more information, don't echo in line uh, some HTML. This is just an example. Require once a template and write whatever you want inside that template. So that's that's pretty much it. As you notice here, instead of doing what we were supposed to do inside the um, previous thing, for example, let me copy these shenanigans of code and put it inside the text editor here. Look at that. This is the code that we were supposed to use to generate all the sub pages, all the subsection of the admin area, of the new admin areas that we generated. And all these four calls are actually generated four subsections for the same area, so not uh, a different area, not a different admin section. And you notice how this, even if we try to clean up the code, see how this, it's way harder to read and way harder to grasp. Or what is this? What's this declaration? Sidebar. What's the sidebar? Sidebar is the title of the page. Is the slug? Is this the slug? Is this? No, this is manage options. Is this the callback function? What's the callback? This is totally insane. With this multi-dimensional array, look how cleaner and easier to manage and maintain is. You already know out of the bat what. Uh, method or what sub page is going to be generated and you don't need to call the same at sub menu page over and over again. You just call the method once and you don't have to touch it anymore. You just update the multidimensional array args variable and you pass it and everything works nicely and without problems. Do you like it? I really hope so. So it's pretty much it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And if you want, you can spend a couple of minutes on the support me page of my website where you can find all different ways and methods to support me, support my channel and help me to do better videos and better tutorials for you. Thank you again, guys. And until the next lesson, as usual, happy coding.